right, good morning and welcome to Mellon Elementary School families. Uh, we are very happy to have you today and we're excited to be celebrating our terrific students for the month of November. Um, we want to welcome everybody and thank you for coming and also thank you for sharing with us your terrific kids. The best thing about terrific kid is it's not about straight A's, it's not about the perfect students, it's about the students who come every day and try to improve upon the day before. And we know that that comes from character and we know that character comes from home. So we want to thank you so much for being here. There's also some very special people we have to thank here at Mellon. We have uh, Miss Cindy in the front office. Cindy Tillis does a great job coordinating Terrific Kid. And then Miss Sharon Metters and Mr. Jerry Stradling really put things together in here to make sure that it all goes smoothly and that we all have a great time. But we wouldn't have Terrific Kid if it weren't for the Kiwanis Club. And we have with us today some Kiwanians. We have Miss Martha Westbury. We also have Mr. Rick Serency. And Mr. Charles Overturf, and Mr. Overturf would like to say a few words about uh, Kiwanis and about Terrific Kid. Thank you, Joe, and on behalf of about 60 other members besides these two fine Kiwanians, in fact, Martha is our president-elect, and of course, Rick is our uh, new superintendent to be here in another few days. Uh, we just want to welcome parents and maybe even some grandparents here. I see some balloons and things. As he said, it is a time to celebrate, and we're certainly proud of these students here at Mellon. In a moment, he'll be reading to you what they have accomplished, how they're improving, and that's what it's all about. So we're certainly glad that we're a part of this here at Mellon, and we just say to these kids, uh, these students, thank you for what you're doing, and just keep up the good work. Thank you, Mr. Overturf. Uh, let me explain to you how this works. What we'll do is we'll call up each student uh, and read what their teachers and cl their classmates have said about them. And at the end, they will all gather over at that table. We'll bring them up for one final photograph of everybody together. Uh, and then you can make a choice. You can either check your student out and go celebrate the rest of the day if you choose to, or you can certainly send them on back to class so they can continue being terrific examples for the students here at Mellon. Uh, if you do choose to check your students out, make sure you do so from the front office. There will be lots of opportunities to take pictures at the time when we get everyone together. And uh, I think we'll just have a great time recognizing and celebrating our terrific students. All right, so without any further words from me, we can go ahead and recognize Miss Danny Dunbar from Miss White's class. Miss White writes, I chose Danny as terrific kid for our kindergarten class because she always sets an outstanding example for others. One of my favorite things about Danny is her positive attitude. I can always count on Danny to come into class with a smile on her face. She always comes into class excited to learn new information each day. I enjoy seeing how excited Danny gets to share a personal story about new information we are learning in class. It makes me so happy to see her build connections with what we are learning in class to things that happen around her. Another one of my favorite things about Danny is the wor word, excuse me, is the word can't is not in her vocabulary. Danny always gives it her all and never gives up. If she has a hard time with something, she always works hard at it until she gets it. My absolute favorite thing about Danny is her kind, caring, and respectful nature. Danny is kind to anyone and everyone she meets. I can honestly say Danny is friends with everyone, and that is something that is very important to Danny. Danny is always ready and willing to help anyone in need. When playing or working with her friends or speaking with adults, she is always respectful. Danny always makes sure to use her manners and share. These are just a few of her many qualities that make Danny an outstanding example for others and a terrific kid. I'm so blessed to be Danny's teacher this year. Love, Miss White. <laughs> Next up from Miss Z's class, we have Jaquan Mack. My terrific kid for the month of October is Jaquan Mack. Jaquan is an out excuse me, as an all-star student who always shows his panther pride. He works hard, is kind to his classmates, and puts a smile on every adult's face that works with him. Other students love to be his partner because of his amazing work ethic and friendliness. He walks through the classroom door with a fantastic attitude, ready to work and laugh. I am so lucky to have this wonderful young man in my class. Love, Miss Z. From Miss Weaver's class, we have Nevea Williams. <laughs> Nevea 
the class voted, and the outcome was Nevaeh Williams as our first grade terrific kid for November. She is kind, considerate, thoughtful, and very studious. Nevaeh strives to be an excellent, excuse me, to be excellent at everything she does and is very humble about her intelligence. She treats others the way she would want to be treated and even helps others to do better with their work and their behaviors. Nevea is trustworthy, dependable, soft-spoken, gr a great artist, hardworking, and we are proud to have her in our first grade class. And she represents our class as the terrific kid. Congratulations, love, Miss Weaver, and your classmates. From Miss Cobbert's class, we have Gage Bishop. Ms. Cobbert writes, I have chosen Gage Bishop as my terrific kid. Gage has shown quite a bit of improvement in the area of remaining calm during challenging situations. He has especially been calmer while working on reflex. Gage has taken his reflex challenges in stride by turning this center into what seems to be eagerness, excitement, and anticipation. Keep up the good work, Gage, in our Wild About Learning class. Educationally yours, Ms. Cobbert. From Miss Stiff's class, we have Kimberly Montserrat Delgado. Kimberly is a terrific kid. She sets a great example to her classmates by always following directions quickly and making good choices. I appreciate how she is always engaged in what we are learning about in class. One thing I love about Kimberly is that she always works hard to get her work done. She is very creative and is a great artist. She is kind to others and is always helpful. Those characteristics will ensure that she is successful in life. I love that I can always count on Kimberly. She is an asset to our class and definitely is a terrific kid. Keep up the good work, Kimberly. Love, Miss Stith. <laughs> Miss Simmons nominates Jaden Curry. Jaden Curry is a positive role model in the classroom and is always willing to help his classmates and me. He is always cooperating with other students and helping his classmates to make good choices. We can always count on Jaden to lead by example with exceptional behavior. Congratulations, Jaden. He is a leader in our classroom and sets a great example for others. Recently, Jaden was asked to be the table captain for his team. He did an excellent job of making sure that everyone had their supplies and books to get their day started. Jaden is kind to all in every situation. He truly is an example for all to follow. We are so lucky to have Jaden in our class. He's an incredibly valued part of our class. We love you, Jaden, and I am proud to be your teacher. Love, Miss Simmons. <laughs> From Miss Tillis's class, we have Isabella Stewart. Isabella Stewart is an outstanding student and a great role model to others in the classroom. When she walks in the door, she is ready to learn and get started with her day. Isabella gives 100% in everything she does. Isabella will keep trying until she gets it right. Isabella loves to help her classmates out. When she sees a classmate struggling with their work, she will step in and help the student out. She will also be a friend to the whole class. She will stand up for all of her classmates. When she sees a friend having a bad day, she will cheer them up. Isabella, I am extremely proud of you. Keep up the hard work and keep your beautiful smile. Love, Miss Tillis. <laughs> From Miss McClendon's class, we have Jayla Hudson. Jayla Hudson, come on down. You are the next terrific kid in Miss McClendon's class. Jayla, you are an awesome student that is always willing to help others as well as your teacher. You show pride in your work, and you always try to do your very best. Thank you. Your classmates are proud to have you represent them because you show Panther Cub pride in all you do. You deserve to be rewarded just because you care. Keep up the great work, Miss McClendon in class. From Ms. Giroux's class, we have Hayden Starling. <laughs> Hayden, Starling. 
Hayden Starling was nominated as Terrific Kid because he is such a terrific person. Hayden is a role model for all of the students at Mellon Elementary. He is responsible, kind-hearted, and always ready to begin learning. Every day in school, I observe Hayden helping others, whether he notices they need help in a math lesson or just some extra encouragement. There has not been a single day where Hayden has not followed the rules or been engaged. I am so proud of the amazing influence he is on his peers, his dedication in class, and always showing active listening. His contagious attitude makes him a pleasure to be around. Hayden is a hard worker and never gives up. This hard work and continuous active listening sure shows in his good grades. Hayden excels at everything he does, and I am amazed at how patient and helpful he is with everyone at our school. I hope his positive attitude continues to be captured by all of those who are surrounded by him. Keep up the great work, Hayden. I am so proud of you and can't wait for the rest of the school year. I am honored to have such a terrific kid in my classroom. Love, Miss Sheru. From Miss Miller's class, we have Angel Lore. Angel was nominated as Terrific Kid because he is a terrific person. He is sweet, kind to others, and shares his sunny personality with everyone around him. He is well-liked among his classmates and is friendly to all people. One of Angel's best qualities is his positive attitude. It is contagious to others and makes him a joy to be around. Angel is very responsible. He always comes to school prepared and ready to learn. He works extremely hard to keep up his grades and make me very proud to be his teacher every day. Way to go and keep up the good work. Love, Miss Miller. Fourth grade has nominated two students. The first one is Javaris Roberts. Javaris Roberts is a fourth grade terrific kid for the month of November. Congrats, Javaris, on a great year so far. Each day, Javaris is eager to start his day of learning and participate in class. Javaris never has a mean word to say to anyone and is, a very, excuse me, is very willing to help out a classmate in need. His teachers are excited to witness his growth as a student and the ability in which Jarvis tackles new learning topics. Javaris shows his panther pride each day, and we look forward to all the amazing things Javaris will accomplish this school year. Keep up the great work. Love Miss Cummings, Miss Folsom, and Miss Petrie. Also from the fourth grade, we have Jovian Davis. Jovian Davis has been improving in his behavior and academics every day. We are so proud at the progress he has made. He encourages others and does his best to help where he can. Jovian is always eager to participate in classroom activities and discussions and strives to be a leader in his group activities. Jovian, we want to thank you for being a terrific kid in the fourth grade. Love, Miss Petrie. Ms. Cummings and Ms. Folsom. From fifth grade, we have Kanoa Faison. Ms. Hines writes, my terrific kid for the month of November is Kanoa Faison. She is always on top of things in class and is willing to help those in need. She has followed all rules and procedures to the best of her ability and does it with a giant smile on her face. Anytime she is confused by anything or if my instructions do not make sense, she is one of the first to speak up and ask questions, which is a great help to her classmates. I am blessed to have her in my fifth grade math class this year. Miss Hines. Next up, we have DeAndre Carr. <laughs> Miss Carey nominates DeAndre, and she writes, DeAndre is a very hard worker and takes pride in his work. He is always cheerful and willing to help others. On top of all this, DeAndre has wonderful manners. He is a delightful person who loves the challenge and is excited about gathering new information. Thank you, DeAndre, for being a terrific kid. You are wonderful. Love, Miss Carey. And from the fifth grade, we have Manuel Estrada Rosado. 
Manuel recently represented us as the student of the month in Miss Ward writes, Manuel is a very well-mannered, caring person. His personality displays a student who is very conscious of his work. He always puts pride into the assignment at hand. Manuel is a model student who is very respectable, which a very limited, excuse me, with a very limited quality in his generation of students. Love, Miss Ward. And our final recognition today, we, uh, each month we choose an adult that shows all of the uh, wonderful traits of being a terrific adult. And this month's character trait throughout the district is caring. And we would like to recognize Mr. Jerry Stradling for caring. Come on up, Mr. Stradling. Let me tell you about Mr. Stradling. Stradling. He has been here every weekend since um, I probably I was born. Uh, Mr. Stradling comes up every weekend, and most recently he's been doing a painting job. If you've noticed, our, our blue uh, doors have turned a different color. Um, he and his wife have done this over the weekends. They have volunteered over 300 hours at our school, purely out of the goodness of their hearts and their dedication to our students. And for that, we uh, really appreciate the deep caring of Mr. Jerry Stradling. Thank you.
but one can make a difference.